Today is the Sustainable Hawaii Youth Leadership Initiatives Forum. It's an annual event. Um, it actually showcases youth leaders from the neighbor islands, Lanai and the Big Island, kind of combining leadership, sustainability, and at some level entrepreneurship. I'm here today because I think there's an emerging interest in our youth on sustainable programs, especially in terms of opportunity for advanced learning in sustainability and renewable energy at the school level. There's not enough programs, particularly the high school years. So we're looking at developing the right partners to do that, to be respectful of the local communities. I really believe that Hawaii is a model of sustainability. There's something very special here. And uh, we believe that the young people of Hawaii are the solution. It's a combination of hydroponics and aquaculture. But aquaponics is just one part of the solution to the bigger problem of our food security. Shipping in all of our food is really unsustainable um, economically and also environmentally. We adults have not done a very good job, and we have to take responsibility for that. And so whatever we can do in terms of resources, foundations, it's in your hands. We're here to talk to you guys today about hydroponics. Having an opportunity for us to hear student voices today is so important because they have such amazing spirit and mana'o thoughts that are very important and very valued by organizations like ours as we look ahead and, and figure out solutions for the future. If more youth go to college, there'll be more opportunities for them when they come back to Hawaii. There'll be you know, more jobs for them. You know, a lot of what we do at the Capitol and government, and a lot of the things that we want to do with policy, this is well beyond our lifetimes. This is not for us. It's actually something we need your help with. We need you to help us lead. We need you to help us come up with these amazing ideas. Not necessarily because we don't know, but more so because this is about you. And it was especially heartwarming and exciting for me to walk around and take a look at the presentations and hear the dialogue that you folks are going to be having. So my project, I use these Intella sockets. You can track the electricity through a wireless server and you can see the cost and the live energy usage. This is so powerful that uh, students at this age are already looking towards preparing themselves so they can make other people's lives better. So the pineapples drained our soil, right, and then DDT was used. When I listen to the students speak, it's so inspiring because their goals are all about supporting people. And uh, you don't often hear this, but with the young people in Shiley, this is exactly what you hear. Young people you find on islands are much more concerned about the environment. They're much more connected. They care more. They know the names of plants and trees. They see the erosion of their beaches. So they're much more awake. And I think that that's the key. In Shiley, the focus on sustainability seems to be the perfect association with uh, what Pulama Lanai's intentions are for the island of Lanai and its community. And it's to look at various possibilities of uh, allowing that island to develop and to become a viable one. And of course, sustainability would be a, a major focus in that regard. How do I prepare what then do uh, what tests do I need to take? What classes should I take? I'm really supportive of uh, initiatives like this that engages the youth at a very deep level so that uh, we can have critical thinking in looking for those kinds of solutions. You really need those executives who will say, this is a priority. And so by meeting other young people that are actually learning and growing and coming back and being part of the solution, we'll build a whole green workforce. So we're going to get into these groups, and then that's going to be your design team for later on today. Design thinking takes innovation or creativity, and it puts it into a five-step process. The first step is empathy, define, ideate, or brainstorming, prototyping, and the last step is testing. So we're taking this five-step process and basically teaching it to educators, but also to students and young people to make learning sustainable practices fun, like playing a game. It'll be a day of engaging and creating new ideas. Meet someone today during break in a genuine way, and that'll allow you guys to be really good collaborators. Some type of sustainable resource that can be So maybe like a year round. How much are your users going to be able to jump into your idea without you explaining it to them? What we find is when young people get together with, say, adults, we 
somehow can't seem to hear each other. And so what design thinking does is that it creates a common language around creativity and innovation and problem solving for all of us to kind of follow. Where did you get these ideas from? Well, they came from our team's brainstorming process, which came from us talking to each other and listening to the people today. So sometimes- It provides a very humanistic approach to problem solving. I think this is great because it brings students from all over the state together. Yes. And if they can communicate and learn how to collaborate at a different level, great things can happen. There you go, okay. I like that. A large part of Pulamalana'i's focus is to provide preservation projects so that uh, we can retain and maintain the environment and hopefully to provide the necessary means to be able to sustain this preservation. Self-contained ecosystems. Waterfall with a stream. Unlimited fish stocks. Half the room is, is young people and half the room is adults and there's educators, and there's business people, and business leaders, and, uh, and the governor will be here, and so it's a way for everyone to actually come together and harness all of their experiences and skills and brain power to, to look at how do we redesign, say, education and sustainability education so that kids are more engaged and that we start practicing this in our daily lives. You can't get out of the problems you have with the same thinking that got you in there. So we want to make sure... Lanai is the perfect place to focus in on that challenge because uh, Lanai is literally blowing away and eroding into the ocean. So we need to be a lot more inventive as to how we can provide for Lanai. For Lanai, the value of composting, um, it's like the fact that we need soil because we import a lot of things because we don't have a lot of choice. And we're gonna start like solving some problems. And I'm really excited that you know we get to share all of these projects that we're doing. So today I just hope to meet a lot of new people. Just you know, some business people in a more casual manner, I wanna meet them just because I think it's interesting. And you know, I don't be, get to be around those kind of people. So we need to have more young people understand the power that they have and to influence the leaders. So we bring the adults to come and support the kids. I connected with a woman and she told me about all these cool opportunities for school garden committees. And apparently there's one throughout the entire Hawaii Island and I never knew about it, so. Why don't we both grow the most food and use each other's crops and trade off with each other to make it? <laughs> Shiloh is a great resource. I've made a lot of connections and I've learned a lot. And I think that really it's important to think about sustainability and to start a conversation really. How do you really love the land? How do you take care of the land so it can take care of you? And it starts with uh, organizations like Shiley. One of the roots of sustainability comes from the Iroquois Nation. They had a rule that in every deliberation, we must consider the impact on the seventh generation even if it requires skin as thick as the bark of a pine. People can have plans, they can have ideas, but a plan is only as good as the people who execute it. So in my mind, leadership is about making good choices to help yourself, to help your community. And I challenge all of you to use your time and energy wisely because it's your gift. I would encourage people to join Shiley because it's good practice for them to manifest their dreams. I'd love to see our land be used for us in a way that's sustainable and secure for us. Finding other energy sources on the island that's more practical and cheaper and you know more eco-friendly and everything is really important to me. I can see like major changes happening if we got into sustainability. Sustainability means putting off that which is easy in order to do that which will last. That's a value for life that is rich and worthwhile to do. Yeah.